there guys and welcome back to the Star Wars figure review. Uh, this is my first figure review of 2016 so happy new year guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at one of the figures that's just come out of the recent Wave of the Black, Wave of the Black series. Six inch line. I'm only reviewing this one because you see why I'm reviewing it in a minute or you've already read the title. But it is this one here. It is Princess Leia from episode 4. Before we take a look at her we'll take a look at the packaging this one comes in. As you can see it's the same display box as before with the small promotional image of the character right there. <coughs> Sorry about that, my voice is just a bit croaky. Now on the side you have the name, Leia Organa, with the big name written in letters there, which I did not notice before. That's a pretty clever thing they've put in there. And then on the back you have the bio, which I shall now read out to you. It says, Princess Leia Organa was one of the Rebels Alliance's greatest leaders, fearless on the battlefield and dedicated to ending the tyranny of the Empire. Now, uh, that's all I got with the packaging there, so now we'll go into the figure herself. And the reason I'm reviewing this one now is, well, it's number one, because I want to, and number two, of course, Carrie Fisher recently died uh, after suffering a heart attack just before Christmas, and she died four days later. I've made a little rest in peace tribute to her. Made a mini, me and my friend Charlie made a mini tribute to her at the end of our 2016 video. And of course, her mother Debbie Reynolds, who was known for Singing in the Rain, died the following day. But there is recently, I think it's a documentary has come out with them in. I'm not too sure about that. But let's get to the basic figures. First off, her whole, her whole white gown is all soft goods, which is it's a it's a it's a goodish thing because it makes it look a bit more movie accurate because you can have her arm looking like the movie accurate thing, like have a full arm sticking out like it sometimes is in the film and of course I really like the facial sculpt on this, they've got like Hasbro have got that almost spot on especially with the cinnamon buns on the side as well I really like all that, the belt is just clipped in at the same location you can get it to look more completely accurate of course the weapon, the weapon she's included with is her first pistol that she uses in the film uh, I always forget the names of these blasters. I'll caption that so you can remember it, so, so you can so I know it, so you can find out what it's actually called. Because she uses this one at the start of episode four, uh, but unfortunately it's confiscated when the stormtroopers stun her. And the other weapon she's included with is a stormtrooper's E11 blaster rifle. You need to get that one right. And. That one is that one's really well done. It's kind of the same as the stormtroopers from earlier in the black series, except with a little silver stripe put there further down on the barrel of the gun. Of course, this one belongs to Luke in the film. Well, Luke kind of uses it, so and of course she borrows it when Luke's trying to get the cable out so it can swing across. <coughs> the figure also includes the hood of Princess Leia, which she wears up for the first part of the movie when she's giving the Death Star plans to R2D. It doesn't really stay up too well. I get up like that. Of course she is also wearing it at the end spoiler alert, uh, in Rogue One at the very end because uh, Captain Antilles gives her the Death Star plans and she's got her hood up and she turns around and takes them. It was quite a clever way to reveal her face as well because they CGI'd her f the younger Carrie Fisher face onto a new actress and that was how it that was how it was done and like because they also CGI'd uh, Wilhoff Tarkin or Gramhoff Tarkin or Governor Tarkin if you want to call him that in uh, the film because because they, they did a bit of a load of that and I know that got a bit of negative hate but it's Tarkin you need to be in the movie so I really don't care about it and I'm going to the articulation she's got a ball jointed neck with the hit with the full full movement a uh, ball hinged shoulders, a uh, ball, a uh, swivel, swivel biceps with the double joint at the arms. It's quite good with the soft goods because that actually gets hidden. So it becomes a little bit less obvious because the Dig of a Luke had these double jointed arms, but they were a lot more visible and obvious, whereas these ones completely hidden by the gown sleeves, just like that. Uh, ball hinged wrists, which I'm yeah, which I can't really do right now. Uh, ball hinged torso, ball hinged hips, which you have to kind of lift the dress a bit up, up a bit to do properly. Uh, of course, she wears her boots, but like the rest of her legs are, are visible. 
uh, swivel triceps, which are yeah, swivel triceps, uh, double joints at the knees, and ball hinged ankles. So again, then again, like Black Series, premium articulation, definitely the best of the line. So that is Princess Leia from the uh, Black Series line. Uh, definitely, definitely pick this up when you can, if you can. Uh, I'll have a link down to this in the description. But currently at Star Action Figures, it is sold out. I think it should be available for pre-order soon. Uh, it was quite, it was quite a popular seller when I got it because I went to Forbidden Planet, and there were two of these left on the shelf because this was the day after Debbie Reynolds died, or it was like two days after or something. I had about there were two, there were two of these left, and the guy said they'd had a full shipment in. It was it, they'd, they were the last two left in the shop when I got there. So I'm good. I got layer when I did. Of course. So that is Carrie Fisher, uh, Carrie Fisher, no, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia. So that's from the Black Series line. I hope you enjoyed looking at her. And I shall be back with some more figure reviews very, very soon. And um, so please be sure to stay tuned for them and follow me on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages which will all be down there in the description below. And I'll see you next time guys. And of course he comes with his cape, which he wears throughout the film, but this is plastic goods, so but it can be easily removed. You can just have it there, like that on his own, and then have him there without the cape, where he just looks like a basic Imperial officer, like Admiral Ulleran. <laughs>